All right, hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, I was going to off-screen run around and uh, make the egg hatch. However, I accidentally ran over here, and now my rival, I, I think, wants to fight me. So, um, gonna have to do that, and then I will cut out me running around to hatch the egg. But yeah. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you were. Joe. Right or Joe? Come busk in. Hmm. We can actually hit him with a good move now. Hit him with a sand tune. Bum 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 bum. Getting pumped up. Wow. Ba, 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 ba. I'm kind of surprised my Gibble outspeeds this Combuskin. But you know, it is what it is. He gets molly whopped, and we are happy with it. Level 19 Tropius. That's a beefy boy. Growth, increase your special attack. It do not matter. Bada bing, bada boom. Gibble is just a sweeping monster. A big man like Nuzleaf. Level 22. I don't really have anyone that can properly take him yet. Oh my god. Nature power earthquake? I mean, it's not stab, but that's still a 100 power fucking move. That's scary shit. You've got levitate, don't you? Yeah. This is my quickest Pokemon. 25, 29, 44. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Spooky. If he hits me at Grass, I'm fine. If he hits me at Dark, it's a problem. He raises special attack. Okay, that's okay. I should kill here. 20 damage, I think. Hmm. Oh, well. I've got my level t level tate? My levitate. Right, one done spooky, get some nice XP. Hmm, useless Pokemon. Listen, you oh Okay. I hate the weak Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. I think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone, they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Alright. Well. Um uh, that's that. I will start um, running around like a madman now. So I will see you once we hatch this egg. All right, and here we are. Egg has finally decided to hatch. What will it be? Ooh, 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 ooh. An Ella kid. Now oh, that is interesting. Your name shall be Diantha. Big up Diantha. All right. Well, that's a actually a really nice little addition. Extra sensory. Oh. Uh, a little bit weird anyway. But I think I'm going to keep that Elekid on the team because 
it gives us another typing for diversity. Like, the only other one we could add in for diversity is like Butterfree or Makuhisha. Because we've got Electric, Dragon Ground, Ghost Poison, Water, Grass, and Steel Rock. And this will all, you know, Grotto will eventually become Grass Ground. So, I think we're good on. Um, I'm not gonna rare candy her up because rare candies I'm using specifically for when it's just to the gym fight to be on level to just to you know skip out grinding but I don't want to cheese my way and be like haha all my Pokemon are 22 because the next level cap is 23 but we have a new encounter in this forest Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think they can do that? Well, I hoped I can do that. The thing is, when am I going to get my encounter? Wow. Oh, uh. Wow, you found a Farfetch, thank you, but there's one more missing. Oh, here we go. And our encounter is... A Shinx. Hmm. Well... I mean, that's another electric type. It has Intimidate, to be fair. Hmm. I've used a Shinx in many more games than I've used an Elekid though, so I think I'm gonna stick the Elekid. I think it'll be a nice little nice little thing to use. And I'm with a hypnosis. Alright, and we're low. Pokeball. There should be an immediate catch. Because it's level 5, a Shinx, and a Sleep. Yeah. Alright, a male Shinx. What will I name you? Your name shall be Reginald. Reginald. I think that's how you spell it. I hope so. Alright, here we go. Another encounter. What could I have gotten? A mighty Yenna. This guy also have Intimidate? Nope. Well, I'm glad I didn't get him then. A heal ball. And another Pokemon. Another little Shinx. Run away! Alright, I need to go up this way. You run that way. I'm gonna go over here. Step on a little bit of this. And go back this way. And encounter a Pokemon. Another little Shinx. Nice, nice. That one's intimidating also. But do we run away. I'm not going to risk training the Elekid here, because I hope um, I'm not going to risk training Elekid here because I feel like the Mighty Anna might have um, Pursuit, and I really don't want to get 
fucked up by pursuit from a mighty enemy. Who's able to learn cut? Mm. I think. I think I'm gonna use one of my Pokemon as a HM slave. Which is unfortunate. Which was a way I could, like. Get rid of all cut bushes and rock smash stuff and stuff like that. But the recent so. Who shall. I mean, some flora, surely. Grottle's the highest level, so I'm gonna swap Grottle out. Let's see, can some flora learn cut? I would I would hope so. Shitflower learned cut, nice. Good going, shitflower. I'm also gonna see if I can grab some repels real quick because I don't wanna have to constantly get I'm gonna have to constantly get encounters in the forest. Plus, um, you get headbutt in the forest, and I'm hoping I can come back to the town and headbutt the trees in town. To get um, another encounter. Actually, wait, who? Someone knows Headbutt. Agron knows Headbutt. Hang on, I might not. I'm not gonna need to go to the guy that teaches Headbutt at all. Unfortunately, that's the money down the drain. Alright, use headbutt. Oh, and I counter right away. Damn. I thought I was going to have to cut out some stuff. A Spearow. That's quite a nice encounter. I quite like that. Put you to sleep real quick. And I'm with a Pokeball. Uh, nice, easy clap. Um, your name's gonna be... Nancy. Here you go, Nancy. Bada bing, bada boom. Back to Ilix Forest. And back to using these repels. Right. On the run. Bada bing bam bum. Thunderstone. Nice. I wonder... Because Gengar and Elekid, obviously... You get Gengar by trading and you get uh, Electivire through trading Wish. An electro elect electorizer, whatever way you're meant to say it. Um, so I wonder if Gengar is now just level, 
four. And I wonder if uh, I wonder if once I get a Oh god, what's his name? Elekid into Electabuzz? My brain is just gone, but... Um, well anyway, I'm thinking you might just need an Electorizer. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna have to hope that... Um, I'm just gonna have to hope that I find one randomly, because obviously items are randomized. Right, kimono lady again. Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark, Elix forest. What? You remember even Violet C? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me out to the forest? You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Spooky knows the way. Oh, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. I never understood the point of that interaction. Is it just to like introduce you to the different kimono girls? I'm assuming so. Any item up here? No. All right, here we are. You give a TM, don't you? Yep. TM twelve. All right, out here. Route 34. Let me see what that TM was. 12 was Dragon Breath? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Dan's is out front. I'm gonna just pray none of these trainers have Pokemon that have Pursuit. I'd love an XP share. I don't know where you get it in this game. Right on. I think is XP share just ahead from the daycare. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, look at the levels from Diantha. Up to level 5 already. He's loving it. A Vespiquen. Nice. Fury Cutter. And then Poison Sting. You're really grasping at straws here, aren't you, Vespiquen? Three XP, not four hundred and forty-three. I, I don't, I don't, know, I don't remember how much XP I got. My brain's just in the mud. As you can see, or not as you can see, you could probably tell it's night in game. So it is night where I live. I don't know at the time I'm recording this. And uh, I saw a big licky licky. And. Uh, I'm probably gonna like fumble with my words a lot and forget what I was saying and a whole bunch of stuff. So. Aqua, level 21. Whoa. Repels effect wore off. I've just realized this is a new route. I'm pretty sure it's a new route. Route 34.
Yeah, that's a new route. Alright, new encounter. I'm gonna switch Spooky back out front for the new encounter. And on this edge piece of grass, it is... A guard of war. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna have... Are you gonna have teleport? Well, you're asleep now. Um, Gardevoir is such a sick Pokemon to have. I'm just wondering, what would I switch out? Because obviously in this generation, Gardevoir is just a psychic type. Um, uh, it's like, do I switch out Elekid? Because Elekid's much will be in a much weaker state. Oh, you teleport. Oh, no. How could you? Gardevoir is one of my favorite Pokemon as well. That's a shame. Such a weird two ends of the scale. I remember, I think it was the last episode, I said Weezing was also one of my favorite Pokemon. Bagon. Oh no, do you have Dragon Rage? Is this the end? Hmm. You've got normal rage. Plays called That's Why He's Raging So Much. Alright. An Altaria? Bro. Are you a dragon trainer? Like, who are you? You made me flinch. Oh, we had a speed time. Astonish and fury attack on Altaria. Interesting. Hit him with a headbutt. Hit him with a butt head. Big XP gains again. Damn, Aqua's almost level 22. Alright, another trainer. I'm the best of my class at Pokemon. Okay. In what sense of Pokemon? <laughs> Does my guy mean training? Does he mean raising them? Does he mean healing them? Does he mean breeding them? Like, my boy doesn't know what he's at. I just double clicked on accident, but... Metal Call was actually just enough. Oh, Diantha learned Thundershock, nice. Speaking of shock... A little Mareep. You missed Metal Call? Metal Call not have 100 accuracy. I'm really out here just lowering all my stats. Well, if that's the game you want to play, then I'll switch into something that's super effective against you. Haha, <laughs> and you can't Thundershock me. Hit him with one of these. Haha. <laughs> Nope, we will not exchange phone numbers. Stranger danger and all that, you know? Oh my god. You're telling me my encounters in this area. Two of them was between Magnazone and Gardevoir. That is so insane. Like, if I got Magnazone, I probably would have just immediately switched out Elekid. 
Because like you get steel typing as well, which is an insane typing. Hold weak to ground. Unless Magnazon has levitate. Does Magnazon have levitate? I don't think he does. Or maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Um. Oh, I've just realized I switched a Pokemon that's quad weak to ground in against a ground type. Give me a water pulse. Yeah, I'm completely fine. Fuck you, wise guy. And then a Q bomb. And then one more miracle. Hit him with another metal claw. You lived, and all you went for was growl. Interesting choice, my friend. And you've got a Snorlax. Bro, who are you? Trainer's all been kind of stacked. Alright, Fat Snorlax. Do you have over 80 health? Azumarill almost has over 80. Okay, not yet. Sorry, Snorlax. Artist, yeah. Nope, I do not want your number. Stop haunting me, Magnazone. I'm gonna check if he has levitate. No, okay. That was right. Where one 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 way. Alright, nice. Grandpa. Go work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too. Hi, Jack. Let me introduce you to this is Jack. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me. Grandma, let me introduce my friend. This is Jack. Hi, ah, this is your boy, friend. I see. Hmm. What? Grandma? What are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha. I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure of his talent. Right, Jack? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. This is my Pokegear number. All sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give you a call, or give me a call. I'll share some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We were both trainers, and we were supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Right. You give a pocket gear number as well. Alright, well, I guess no EXP share yet. What's with you? What are you doing? Caught me out when it was my bedtime. Oh my goodness. And to Aqua. I'm with a bubble beam. Oh, 
Low kick. Well, we'll get rid of Leer. Timmer Bob. Ba, ba, ba. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? Vile Plume. Hmm. I'll go to Spooky. A little bit of a stun spore. Well, how about I hit you with a little bit of a nightshade? Okay, or I'll just get hit by Mega Drain. Cool. with another nightshade or I'm just gonna keep getting mega drained yay hey yeah 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 all right you've been done in now Jeff Mallory damn everyone on this route wants my number ah pokeball PM31 missed. Alright, well that's completely useless. Alright, Golden Rod City. I think now is as good a time as any in this episode. So, thank you for watching.